Elio guys and welcome back to another episode of Infinite Magic Raid. Uh, in today's video though, obviously we're going to be taking a look at Justy. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it here. So Justy is an attacker type and he's also red marked to anyone curious about him. And mine is currently at level 100. I haven't gotten any more Justies that I can recall. So unfortunately I haven't invested too much uh, more into him. But if I do get more, I will one day definitely just boost him up because I've been enjoying him as a character and he has come in clutch in quite a few uh, different areas and nightmare for me at least. But uh, moving forward, let's take a look at his skills. So there's Sanction, which is his basic attack. And this deals 160% attack damage to a single enemy with an extra 30% piercing rate. Now, from my understanding of piercing rate, that ignores um, a percentage of the target's defense. So that's kind of like some added raw damage. Uh, you know, obviously tacked onto his percentage of his attack, which is pretty cool. Uh, fully bugged up, though, we can see that it does get a 80% increase, bringing it up to a whopping uh, 240% for his um, attack damage for a single target, which, I mean, I'm not going to say is super amazing because there's other uh, units like legendaries that just already possess even higher attack damage than that. But for something that already is doing damage and kind of has that little added extra with the piercing rate, I do think in the end that the damage on it isn't amazing, but it would be decent fully booked up here. Uh, his second skill, High Morale, it has currently a cooldown of uh, five rounds or five turns, but with skill bucks it does get reduced to three turns, and this one increases allies' attack uh, power by 20% for two rounds, and it also allows him to act. Now, in my last video, I had talked about Eden and how Eden is more of like a jack-of-all-trades type supporter, which is fine because we get her fairly on in the game. Justy is one of those um, units, though, that kind of takes one part of Eden, which is her attack up, and makes it actually viable. So what happens here is he boosts up everyone's damage. And he can also get another turn off, which this is where things get really interesting. Uh, but I will cover that once we get to his ultimate. So basically, you get an, you get an attack boost, and you're able to act with him once more whenever you use high morale. That's that's great. That's great. Uh, his passive though was crippled, and th there's a 30% chance to inflict inferior severe wound for two rounds when dealing direct damage. If the target is severely wounded already, it inflicts Severe Wound instead for two rounds. Basically what Severe Wound does is lower the healing amount that a target can get. So if you apply this debuff onto the target, then if they're going to get healed, that heal will not be as potent as it was before, which this could also be very useful, especially in situations in Nightmare or PvP situation where you're encountering um, units that can heal very, very well, like uh, Magus or Magus or uh, Liz as well. And then moving over here to Victory Rush. Now this is where it synergizes really, really well with uh, high morale. So Victory Rush currently has a uh, five round cooldown, but with books it does get reduced to four rounds and it deals 240% of the attack damage to a single enemy. And this skill also attaches 30% more crit damage. And if the target is killed by this skill, it releases this skill once again to another random enemy. Now from my understanding of this skill, it doesn't chain. So if you go in and you kill one unit, there's a chance he could technically kill another unit, but if that unit dies, it doesn't keep going. That would be just insane and broken. But you could potentially take out two units with one skill, which I think is quite spicy. Uh, we can see though with books, obviously the cooldown is reduced to four turns as I stated before, but it also gets boosted up by a whopping 120%, bringing it up to 360% of his attack damage to a single enemy. And he does get that added effect of the 30% more crit damage. Now, keep in mind with his uh, high morale uh, buff over here though. So I can not only boost the attack of Justy before I do his ultimate, but then I can go ahead and do his ultimate because I get an extra round with this turn. That means you're boosting up his damage quite high. And once again, this isn't like legendary territory, but in my opinion, it does come pretty damn close to it. So... I mean, Jesse's more about just raw damage in general, but I find skills like this super useful, especially as you begin the game, because this, this can help you clear out waves if you're trying to like farm out experience and farm out units with the recent changes to the game. 
and overall I think his damage is okay obviously with books it just makes things a lot better but starting off here I think he's a uh, very interesting unit all right then coming over here to his uh, exclusive weapon for his level one exclusive weapon high morale which is the attack up buff to everyone also will increase his self attack by 40 percent versus 20 percent once again, that's huge because, obviously, with the exclusive weapon as well, he does get a boost in his stats, meaning more damage. That's great. Once again, kind of pairs up well with congratulations at level 2. We get Victory Rush, which deals 50% more damage to a target who is severely wounded. So if his passive goes off before you actually, like, proc up his high morale and then slide into his ultimate, which is Victory Rush, we're talking about all kinds of damage here all kinds and then level three it resets the duration of being severely wounded when the enemy who is severely wounded gets their hp restored so if you already have that um healing debuff on the unit and they get healed congratulations that stays up there meaning once again this kind of synergizes well with victory rush because with that unlocked as well you're going to do more damage once that's done and obviously at four and five he does receive a 40 uh speed increase which once again kind of if everyone had exclusive weapons that would be basically the same thing what we're working with currently in the game but this unit could potentially outspeed even some of the legendaries overall but i think jesse is a great unit i don't think he's like super amazing as someone that has used him uh since the game has come out but i do think he is worth the investment it's just how much investment that you want to put into him because there's other units in the game where honestly i would just count these guys as fodder because some units, even if they're epic, are just utter garbage. But I think Jesse's useful. You can obviously use him in PvE and PvP. And I, have, of course, use him inside the um, Tower of Mastery for the Red Mark. Just because he's useful for raw damage. And he's a cheap unit to come by and kind of build. Even if it's only to level 100. But that's pretty much it for the Jesse review, you guys. Is he going to be like a big PvP uh, type unit? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, he is outclassed once again by legendary units, but that doesn't mean that he's not useful until you get something better. But overall, he's a solid unit, which he's pretty balanced in my opinion. Nothing spectacular about him, but nothing uh, weak about him either. But that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, peace out.